Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to find the limit of the sequence a n, which is 6 power n minus 8 times n factorial minus 25 over 4 times n factorial plus n power 6 minus 3 power n. In order to find the limits, we must recall some basic noun sequence. You can find this basic noun sequence in David Brandon text page 51. These are the some of the basic noun sequence. 1 over n power p with p greater than 0. c power n for absolute value of c between less than, less than 1. Or n power p times c power p where p is more than 0 and absolute value of c is less than 1. Or c power n over n factorial for any real number c. n power p over n factorial for any p greater than 0. Observe that we have especially C where n factorial is in the denominator and E where n factorial is in the denominator. This gives you a clue how do you pick the dominant term when you look at where are the denominator eh, beside n power p between n power p and n factorial. So we go back and look at the problem, our sequence, the dominant term is n factorial. So what we do is divide the numerator and denominator n factorial. So divide this by n factorial. Each term I divide n factorial. And notice that n factorial over n factorial ha can have some cancellation. So that an simplify to 6 power n over n factorial minus 8 minus 25 over n factorial divided by 4 plus n power 6 over n factorial minus 3 power n over n factorial. Now, we notice that many terms are now sequenced. For example, 6 power n over n factorial is actually a null sequence. 6 factorial over n factorial is actually 6 power n over n factorial is this type of sequence n, factorial, n power p over n factorial. Same thing. 1 over n factorial is also n power p over n factorial where n where for for this side, okay, the second part is actually 1 over n factorial is actually c power n over n factorial where c equal to 1. And n power 6 over n factorial is actually n power p over n factorial. And 3 power n over n factorial is c power n over n factorial. So these are all basic null sequence. Therefore, you can apply the combination rule, limit of an where n goes to infinity is equal to limit of n goes to infinity of an where this term from, from which we are find that some of them are null sequence. For example, this is a null sequence converts to 0. 3 power n or n factorial is null sequence converts to 0. And 1 hour, 20, 1 hour n factorial is, is null sequence converts to 0 n power 6 over n factorial is now sequence convert to 0. Therefore, apply the combination rule, you will find that, okay, this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0, and this is 0, and the answer will be minus 2. Okay, so this is the end of the recording.